Welcome back again for another Bulldog broadcast, where we bring you news and updates from BHS. Seniors, the countdown is on. You're about to be BHS graduates. Congratulations. The graduation ceremony is currently set for May 22nd. Time and details will be coming soon. Speaking of senior stuff, senior photos are due to the Pioneer Yearbook by April 23rd. You can email a photo to Mr. Harris at kharris at usd348.com or bring in a print version of the photo to be scanned. The photo needs to be a vertical pose. And speaking of yearbooks, if you have not purchased a Pioneer yet, you can do that online at www.wallsworthyyearbooks.com or you can bring a check into the BHS office for $55 or $60 with a name stamp on the cover. The deadline for buying your yearbooks is April 23rd. Sign-ups for Summer Driver Education is occurring now, so if you wish to sign up and if you have any more questions, be sure to see Mr. Curran for more info. Spring sports have started up. If you'd still like to join in, it's not too late. Contact head coaches such as Coach Ising for girls soccer, Ashcraft for boys tennis, Spielman for track, Collins for golf, or Scobie for softball, and also King for baseball to get information to participate. The BHS freshmen Cole Peterson and Isaac Stenberg have qualified for State National History Day with a website they created about carrier pitches in World War I. Good luck, and we hope you go far in the competition. Yep. Some more com competitive success happened for BHS students as the journalism staff had 18 placings in the KSPA Regional Contest. Placing first in three categories was Grace Parker. Hallie Flory and Ty Harris also placed first in their categories. Jocelyn Higgins placed second, and third place finishers were Annette Ozier and Taylor Flory. Earning fourth place were Ian McCoy and Jewel Marsh, and placing fifth was Brooklyn Chase. Two students earned a sixth place finish, Gracie Bryan and Victoria Daniel. Congrats to all of those students. They will all now compete in the KSPA st state contest in April. Now it's time for a sports report from Bulldog broadcasters Ian McCoy and Drew Schoendaller. What do you got for us, Ian and Drew? What's up, guys? Me and Ian are back here today. Let's go. Now it's time for a winter sports wrap-up and a preview of our spring teams. The big news this winter came from our brand new team, and it's only second year of the girls' wrestling program. The Bulldog girls had an amazing season and topped it off with a state championship. The team also won first place at districts, regionals, and substate. They had six state qualifiers and four state placers. The state placers were Audrey, Audrey Darnell, Emma Grossme, Haley Wimpy, and Maddie Hargett. And also state qualifiers Daniela Kazakova and Jasmine Rainier. Way to go, girls. The boys wrestling team had six qualified for substate and one state placer. The substate qualifiers were Dalton Dempsey, Nicole Benton, Miguel Andazola, Josh Broyles, Jack Harvey, and Toby Thomas. Thomas also placed fifth at state. The girls basketball team ended the season with a 9-8 record. At substate, they knocked off Eudora, a team they had lost to previously, and the Bulldogs advanced to the substate finals, where they faced the state's number one ranked Bishop Miege, ending their season, sadly. The team was led by Jenna Harvey, Riley Smith, and Warren Russell. The boys team also had to face Bishop Miege, but in the first round of the substate championships. The Bulldog boys ended their season with a 2-15 record, with wins this season over Bishop Ward and Prairie View. The team was led by Colby Zimmerman, Caleb Carr, Andrew Washi, and Drake Martin. Now that the winter sports teams have been wrapped up, they're wrapped up with their seasons, the spring teams have hit the fields and courts. The boys tennis team is coached by Jim Ashcraft, the girls soccer team coached by Drew Ising, the golf team coached by Greg Capps, the baseball team coached by Jay King, the softball team coached by Chad Scobie, and the track and field teams coached by Mike Spielman. The teams all started practicing this week, preparing for their opening games after spring break. Good luck to all of our Bulldog teams, and now we go back to Nora and Ellie in the studio. Thanks, guys, and good luck to our Bulldog sports teams this spring. And way to go, Bulldog Girls Wrestling. That's awesome. A team that both you and I are a part of. You mean this thing? Dang right. State champs, baby. <laughs> spring break is upon us. Hope everyone has a great week. Enjoy the time off, and we'll see you soon when we get back. Thanks for watching today's Bulldog broadcast on the Bulldog News Network. Remember to always walk on the right side of the hallway and stay classy. classy.